Some of you said this is impossible, but here it is, Magic OS 8 in its latest beta version on my Magic 4 Ultimate. So let's get started. So what you witnessed right now is, yeah, a first for Honor in history. The new Magic OS 8 has been announced and this means I also on my Magic 4 Ultimate got the newest update, including some of the features, some prominent features that they showed on stage. And one of those features is a nifty handy one, many people requesting the possibility to swipe down to show notifications and control center. By default, it is like on a search, but now you have the possibility to configure it which is quite handy and this is what I did here. But this is not the only new feature of this new beta version. There are some others hiding there as well. If I go back here, we have a new lock screen style option. I see already, or you can see already that I have configured this and I can just tap on it and we can go in here, which is like reminding me a little bit of the configuration style that Xiaomi in HypoS created. And of course, this was inspired by iOS. So we have the ability to choose our clock style here, for example. And we have no widgets that I can choose here. We have, but we have a depth uh, method here. So if it detects some depth, we can choose this here. But we also can change the image if we want to. So um, getting from various different images here, but also the lock screen style can be changed. And we have various different styles here, as you can see. So I have various different styles that I can choose here. Uh, how my lock screen should look like. And this is the style that I chose here right now. As you can see, I have the image. I can move it around freely like I want it. And I have the possibility to also do this for the um, background there as well. And I have various different options there as well, as you can see here. So I can change the color. I have a lock screen style. So this is also very important for like this Android 14 theming that is possible here and the blur can be chosen as well here. And then I can apply this and then we have this very cool kind of, let's discard this, very cool kind of lock screen uh, that you can see here. I can swipe up to unlock and I'm on my display actually here on the home screen. Let's do it again so you can see it. So this is the lock screen, swipe up and I'm on the home screen. As you can see it's a bit misaligned there the wallpaper, but uh, nevertheless, it's possible. The only thing that is not really working, what I'm missing from HyperOS that I saw there, for example, is the possibility to also do it with the AOD. So what I checked as AOD is a custom image and I put the same image in there, but there's no transition from this AOD, like, like Huawei is doing this with their uh, devices. For example, here you can see my Mate X3, where I have this transition from the lock screen. And then, uh, wait a second, let's do it again. Show the AOD, yeah, uh, this is the transition to the AOD, and when the AOD is showing, there's the AOD, if I unlock it. Actually, what I wanted to do is, yeah, you can see this effect. I don't have this here on uh, Magic OS 8 yet, but I could imagine that they will introduce it maybe with the final version there as well. So when we go to settings, and when we check out personalization home screen, always on display, we don't have this option. We have all the old options here still, but not the new option like uh, with this animation that I hope will come soon eventually as well. Otherwise, we can set up fonts. We have icons that we can configure, and I'm not sure if it was there before, but there is an option here on the top, themed icons, where I can uh, turn on themed icons. This will uh, then allow me to see the icons will change their color according to the theme that I've set. As you can see, it's not working with all icons, but the Google icons or the front from the Play Store are supporting this. Some Honor icons are still not supporting this. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. Actually, I don't like this style. This is like nothing phone has this style, for example, which is some prefer it. I like it more colorful. And yeah, those are the options here. And this is basically what we have new here in terms of styling on the Magic OS 8. Uh, the rest, in terms of styling and so on, you saw already in my previous video where I was uh, introducing you or giving you a sneak peek on the Magic OS 8. What we want to show right now, what I want to show right now is like when I go into my browser, for example, and uh, 
let's just go into one of the art articles here, like for example, RG Phone 8 Pro, by the way, Asus, if you're watching, I'm interested, please give me a sample. I can just mark this text, for example, I want to put it into a note. Of course, I could go here and choose maybe note. Uh, there's marker, for example, with a note taking application, but not for the notepad. What I can do now is take this text, drag and hold and drag it to the side. And here I have this uh, new, I'm not sure how it's called, Smart Hub or something like this, where I can just put it into a note. You can see it's in Chinese most of the time and most of the options are still in Chinese because this is a Chinese device. Hopefully this will be adjusted for the global market. But here on the bottom I have a note. I can drop it into a notepad and it will open up and copy this text into the notepad, which is a quite interesting feature there that we have and will save it automatically. This uh, does not only work with text, but also pictures. Uh, but for pictures, I think it needs a special app. So in this app, you can see if I long press, it's like holding this, uh, it's getting this menu only. I cannot like drag this picture out here of this um, image. The same goes for some other applications. So it is still limited to, I think, Chinese applications most of the time and certain Chinese applications that probably need some adjustment as well to work the way they work. So especially marking the text in browser works, but not always like I tried, for example, let's go into Twitter and let's try this here by uh, by this guy, like I want to copy this text and uh, just let me maybe only copy one plus open here and try to move it around. You can see when I try to move it, it's like going into this mode where it's uh, yeah adjusting the the text marking and I'm not sure how can I move it out. So you can see it is not, I'm not sure who thought this is a nice idea to do it. But if then they it has to work somehow, but in this case, it's I think this is why it's called beta probably. Uh, it's not working with all the applications. Maybe the apps needs uh, to be adjusted or something like this. Here I only have like those possibilities here and I cannot just uh, drag this text no matter how I want it. Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't work. So I can only like adjust the marking, but I cannot drag it out, also not with two fingers or something like this. So it needs a little bit of work still to work reliably. Otherwise it's like heavily Chinese um, um, market specific right now. So especially like when you want to get an address out, you only get a map there and not uh, Google Maps or something else that you can put in. And I didn't see any option to configure this. We can go into settings and uh, search for Actually, we can just go down here and uh, uh, it should be here somewhere. Um, search for honor. It's on a board, is it? Or oh, this is the assistant. Has some name. Uh, uh, car connect on a I mean, on, a, on, a, on a cloud. I, I cannot remember the name of this thing, this this site thing um, anymore. But uh, this is the thing that you have the possibility to configure. This is something that I still find a little bit confusing about such things. They could make it, I think, a little bit easier to find such new features by naming them in a way that are that is more interesting and magic portal this is how they call it magic portal there we go so on a magic portal you can see all the various different options that you have you can drag images you can take a screenshot drag the screenshot somewhere in there uh, which is a possibility and yeah you can also um, get this done then let's let's try this with uh, let's go to Let's go to the Twitter app. So hold with two fingers down, it will scan. And then I try to drag this image. It's not going to work because it tries to see text there. And yeah, save photo. So I have the possibility to post a photo, save a photo, but cannot drag this out to the side. So yeah, as you see, there are some limitations still with this uh, and I think 
this is something that honor has to work onto because like the intuitive like user interface that they showed is not there yet at least it's not working for me and it's not very intuitive otherwise that's it for this short little video about the honor magic 4 ultimate and magic os 8 the new update that arrived here and some of the new features that uh, were introduced what i don't have because i have like have this build shape cut out but this magic capsule i think this is like the dynamic island version is not there yet i can maybe try it with um with a stopwatch or something like this start the stopwatch go out here and it is not there as you see like i would usually get it on color os for example that has similar feature or um, harmony os uh, and i think even hyper os has a similar feature there as well so it's not there and i don't see even see the stopwatch i have to like go back here to the stopwatch to see it running so uh, i'm pretty sure this is something because it's an early beta version that will come pretty soon again here for the magic for ultimate as soon as it lands i will also show it to you this is my small little update to magic os 8 running on the magic 4 ultimate and uh, it's running very fluid and smooth i'm really thinking about switching maybe to the magic 4 ultimate uh, as my daily driver again because this one is a very very good smartphone also the cameras are very very good as well so i'm um, not even waiting for the magic 6 pro to arrive here uh, i didn't even order it yet but uh, we will see about this and uh, that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye